All right, we are back. And we got some Holy Mountain, my favorite brewery. And this one is Pyrokinesis. And it's a triple IPA, you can see there. And we got 10% ABV. So, good shit there. They usually don't have much else going on. Um, but they always have some pretty cool artwork. And then, of course, they have some fantastic beers. Haven't had a triple IPA in quite a while, so this is going to be a treat. Right there, baby. It's got this kind of, like, elk <laughs> with a couple arrows in it and then all kinds of butterflies and moths surrounding it. Who knows what's going on there. <clears throat> and then, of course, we got the uh, Holy Mountain Anniversary Glass right there. Second Anniversary Glass. Or third Anniversary Glass, sorry. Okay. Definitely has a super smooth mouthfeel. Super soft, velvety. It's thick, though. Not 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 syrupy thick, but it's definitely thicker. You can tell. Get that out the nose retro hail going on. Just <clears throat> it's actually surprisingly smooth. I know it's not um, the freshest. I have had it a little while, but just like very velvety mouthfeel, and then just like like thick sweet malt and then just like juicy juiciness from the hops very nice <clears throat> we are getting into a mail call this one should have been in on my last mail call but I put it under my sink and I totally forgot about it there so this one is uh for my buddy John from John Shaves we got the uh unboxing knife right there the bench made we're gonna go ahead and utilize the gut hook the gut hook always seems to uh, do very well on these. Just kind of, oh. and of course, now it's not doing well as soon as I gave it props. So we will utilize brute force. <laughs> Maybe uh, I need to get it sharpened since it was used this year. Okay, so we got a series of uh, series of samples in here see one bag and in, inside of a, a ton of bags inside of a larger bag <clears throat> all right so we got FLS green okay I like this oh, fuck. <laughs> Yeah, my buddy Paul Lather Me Whiskers told me that this was kind of a uh, a wintry vibe, and uh, I feel him on that. Kind of gives me like um like baby vespers or vespers junior vibes. Maybe this one has like balsam fir as a scent note or something like that. Camphor maybe. Very nice though. And we got the FLS Red. Let's see what that's all about. I believe this is. The Fahrenheit dupe. Okay. It's fresh. Um, maybe a little bit. Maybe leaning warm. It's definitely kind of light. I think I'm going to have to wait to lather that one. Because I'm not getting like a whole bunch off of it. <clears throat> what else do we got here? Star Odyssey. Definitely says from John. For whatever reason, I think enough time has passed that I, like, have forgotten our discussion. But I uh, still thank you, John. Definitely still thank you. Son of a bitch. These uh, samples are not carrying well.
Maybe they're just gonna... I think I'm just gonna have to wait to lather them, because the green jumped right out at me. But uh, those last two, they didn't really jump out at me. Then we got Razor Ruby. I do know what Razor Ruby smells like, because I got the beard oil. And the beard oil is fucking banging sense strength. And yeah, I'm not even... <laughs> I'm not even really perceiving the uh, Razor Ruby that I know and love from the beard oil. And then we got FLS Blue as well. I can tell this one's a little fresher, but it's still like, still very faint. Kind of sucks, man. I wonder if I'm like losing my shit. But thank you, John, for the, uh, the first line shave fucking sample pack. That was fucking awesome of you to send those my way. And I can't wait to get some of those, uh, get some of those samples cracking because they were, uh, pretty generous samples, uh, from what I could tell. So I'll just put those to the side. We will move right on and along with another one. This one, I believe, is the Razor Company. <clears throat> we are going to attempt the gut hook again. When it works, it works. <laughs> Apparently, just need to get, the, get it started. And then you can see right there, the Razor Company, they have their somewhat like staple um, closed tape or whatever like hasn't been opened tape I don't know what you call that security tape maybe <clears throat> go ahead and open it up hopefully no fingernails <laughs> looks like we do got some packing peanuts though Let's see what the uh, receipt says on it thank you for shopping with us cool all right, first things first. Lakeshore Drive from Shannon Soaps. And this one is in their Rust Belt Reserve formula, which is their um, more premium offering. And then the Razor Company is the one that puts like each soap into its own sleeve. I think that's a good touch. I, I, it's just like a little extra, you know, just a, the difference between ordinary and extraordinary. It's that little extra. Right. Tell me what that's off of. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's just slide it out of the bag. Let's take a look. And we are back with the rivet, the rivets. And we got a black label this time instead of a white label. So kind of differentiate the bases. I like it. Nothing else going on on the side. But you do see the, uh, the name of the soap, which is better than nothing. They do have, you know, the ounces... The ingredients, the website, you know, a lot of necessary information on the top, but it's just not on the site label. Okay, that my nose isn't going out. I detect I detect um some sort of citrus up front, probably lime. It's definitely an aquatic. What's funny is the description kind of sounded more like a dirty aquatic. This seems pretty bright to me. Uh, I don't know, maybe once lathered, um, I'll pick up some more of those maybe earthy notes or whatever the dark notes were. But to me, it seemed like a pretty bright aquatic, and uh, I'm cool with a bright aquatic. I like aquatics. Oh, shit, son. I got another fucking barbershop or a uh, fresh shave little tree. Dude. I love these things. I was telling the degenerates I was thinking about buying a box of these things because these fucking things are fire, dude. <laughs> Every time I get in my truck and I just get hit with that fucking fresh shave smell, that shit's nice. <laughs> Razor Company. These little touches, man. These little fucking touches. Anything over $10, free shipping. Fucking throwing in a fresh shave um, um, little tree car freshener. These little touches are like, they're gold, you know what I mean? They do not go unnoticed. 
<clears throat> and then we got another soap here. We'll get it out of its individual wrapper. That King Cave Works Staggering Jack from K Shave Works. And this one actually was made with pumpkin beer from Small Craft Brewing Company. And you can kind of see it right above the beer there. Small Craft. And then up top um, in the moon is K Shave Works. So pretty cool shit. It says on the side, made from beer. And then if you notice, net weight 2 ounces. And the price per ounce did not go up because it's a smaller tub. I, for the life of me, can't see why people make that argument when I have yet to see one person offer a smaller tub and up the price. Not once. <laughs> like, everybody's worst fear is that if we stop having the industry standard be four ounces and it start becoming three or two ounces, that all of a sudden the price per ounce is going to be $10, $15. I've yet to see that once, and multiple people offer three and two ounce tubs. Y'all are fucking tripping. <laughs> but let's go back to the scent. This is fucking nice, guys. This is in the realm of um, the Shaving Shop's Black Birch Stout. This is in the realm of um, Murphy and McNeil's uh, Sleante, um, or Slant, um Beer Slant. St. James, beer soap. This is also a beer soap. Um, it's in that realm. It's like chocolatey, gourmandy, um, definitely on the warmer side, sweet, you know, it tastes good enough to eat type deal. Definitely has some nuttiness to it, which I enjoy. And then we have the matching mini aftershave which i have not seen yet but i guess if you're gonna sell a two ounce soap having a mini aftershave would only be appropriate and uh, i'm a full supporter of the mini two ounce soap pucks full fucking supporter i see zero downsides for the consumer zero especially if they still offer a four ounce as well but if they don't offer a four ounce, you can easily buy two two ounces. So no downsides. <clears throat> the aftershave. Some people go gung ho with aftershave. They don't want to see a smaller aftershave. Um, but same thing. You can always buy double. Um, and I believe I haven't used K Shave Works since they upgraded their towel base. So it's going to be nice to get into that um, and see how that is. K Shave Works was actually one of the brands that I. Uh, started my wet shaving journey with um when i first started numerous people that i watched on youtube said that k shave works was like good shit and so being like young in the hobby very impressionable i went after whatever they said was good shit and it definitely was it was one of those like back then the santa claus beard high structure lather reigned king and um goddamn <laughs> k shave works could whip up into one killer beard um Lather beard, no doubt about that. Um, their alcohol, their ingredients list has alcohol, witch hazel, aloe vera, rose water, fragrance, glycerin, and alum. So, there it is. Somewhat simplistic, but it does have a few good things in there. Look forward to giving that a shot as well. And then, one more thing here. Got some blades. I was wondering what the hell that was. I almost forgot that I bought these. These are right there, Feather Professional, and these are Artist Club blades. So I'll be using those in my uh, Blackland Vector. I'll be using those in my IBC Chevette. Um, should be fun to give those a try. I believe Jeremy Tyler recommended those to me. Uh, perhaps Doug Bear recommended those. So thank you, fellas. Hopefully, you wouldn't steer me astray. I really doubt you would. Um, and we got another one here. This one, Air My Airmail Par Avon. And this one is from 
Canada. Let's just get a little, we got the blade out now. Shit's getting real. We will attempt not to cut ourselves. Shave 326 style. Always cut away from yourself. Oh my god. And one thing I like about fucking. <laughs> oh my god, maybe I should just chill. Maybe I should just chill. <clears throat> we got Purely Skinful High Roller, and this is their uh, Bath and Body Soap. So I have had little chunk samples sent to me um, when I made a purchase in the past. And so I have used them. I am I am a fan of their uh, uh, bath and body soap, so you can kind of see that uh, Star Wars ingredients list there. Huge ingredients list for a fucking uh, bath soap, <laughs> but definitely some good stuff on there. For external use only, discontinue if rash irritation occurs. Has the website, the street address, phone number. It says thank you for your support on the end, and then of course it has all the uh, stats right there on the front. So High Roller, I know is a fire scent. In the past, she sent a free sample along with one of my orders, and it was the aftershave lotion of High Roller. Fucking banging scent, fucking banging. Oh yeah, that's good shit. I will probably move that to the front of the list as far as my bath soaps go um, in, in the queue, because I have a lot of different artisans, bath soaps. I don't know about y'all, but I like, I, I buy like these shaving soap artisans, I buy all their miscellaneous other shit as well, like EDPs, beard oils, um, face, uh, facial sh scrubs, hand lotions, um, bath and hand soaps, all kinds of shit, man. I go like, I support to the fullest, man. <clears throat> I love this hobby. I want these motherfuckers to be successful. I buy their lip balms, all kinds of other shit, you know what I'm saying? Okay, here we go. We got shaving soap now, and this one is in the bare, the bare tallow formula. You can also see up here. Um, and this one is the Hanover scent, or maybe Jennifer. I like it better. Hanover. And this is actually a refreshing yet robust fusion of gin zesty citrus and fuzzy oh fizzy tonic intertwined with radiant lilac and violet blossoms finished with soft woods and musk let's check this shit out oh yeah that is nice that definitely reminds me of like a uh citrusy topped um mixed drink it definitely has like a little sparkling character too. So I get that like fizzling, what do they say? Fizzy tonic. Definitely get that along with the citrus. Yeah, it's a nice one. And you can see of course that they have it stamped. She always stamps her, her uh, soap. And then the side label definitely has all the uh, necessary stuff that you might want. Definitely top-notch shit, purely skinful. Let's see, let's see. What else do we have here? Where the fuck's my knife? Try not to fucking cut ourselves here. This is uh, more or less the matching splash which is if you've watched my channel for a little while the purely skinful witch hazel and aloe aftershave splash is one of my absolute favorites um i don't know what it is <laughs> i mean it does have the fucking star wars like huge ingredients list but there's something about the face feel it leaves. It's it's unique, and I like it. Okay. What else do we got here? Go ahead and get the uh, gut hook involved again. 
the gut hook definitely helps for getting like underneath the tape. But fucking Linda, she knows how to fucking package it up nicely. Definitely uh, makes you work for it. <laughs> this is adorable. <laughs> so this is a uh, beef tallow, and this is her high roller scent, um, and it says it's poker night, and the stakes are high. Well aged bourbon and a diverse fusion of masculine cologne and premium cigars diffusing their scent into the room. And if you look down here, it's a 1.1 ounce shaving stick. Yet again, the price per ounce did not go up. <laughs> I know you guys are mad about it. Like you're fucking, you're salty because for whatever reason you don't want to be able to buy a shit ton of soap scents for an affordable price. You just, you can't do it. Like, <laughs> you want to side with the artisans rather, rather than side with the consumers, but some artisans want to please their consumers. All right? Offering these small fucking offerings is fucking badass, and the price did not go up because it was less soap. In fact, look at this fucking convenient... Let's just... Oh. <laughs> Let's just maybe two fingers even. <laughs> no, she's a, she's tight. But it's a fucking push tube, son. <laughs> Look at that. Dude. Linda, she fucking she knows how to push my buttons, man. <laughs> Alright, let's get this uh let's get this aftershave in here. Linda's fucking awesome, guys. If you haven't checked out Purely Skinful. And you've been watching my channel for a while. Fucking shame on you. <laughs> Purely skinful is awesome, man. Alright. Let's fucking whip this out of here. We got the matching high roller witch hazel and aloe aftershave lotion up there, which I used last night. And it left my face feeling really good. It goes on kind of heavy. But it actually dries in, or I mean soaks in, and once it's in, then it's like really nice face peel for quite a while. Alright, what else did I go with? Temptation right there. And if you look up top, that is also beef tallow. And this one says a warm, tantalizing blend of bourbon, black coffee, chocolate tobacco, banana, and caramel. And just look at that, uh, <laughs> look at that thing on top. Mm. God damn, as soon as I took the fucking, whew, <laughs> as soon as I took the top off of that bitch, that thing filled the room. Wow, we're back in the gourmandy realm. We are right back. The, uh, chocolate caramel really come out. It's warm. It's like, it smells good enough to eat. It's another one of those. I think the banana's definitely in there as well, but it's not like over the top. To me, I get a lot of chocolate and caramel. Probably caramel forward, actually. Um, if anything, the coffee's probably grounding it from going too sweet. But that's a fucking good one. That is nice. I asked her for something warm for the upcoming, like, cold weather. And, um... She recommended a ton of different things to me, and then I, you know, drawed from that. So you can definitely reach out to Linda, ask her for suggestions, tell her what you like, tell her what you're looking for, and she'll fucking make it work for you. She she has a wide offering of a ton of diverse scents. Her um her labels have a brief description that's actually pretty spot on the majority of the time. Don't be afraid to reach out to her. Okay. And then a few samples here. These were free samples. This one's Sweet Cherry Pie. She still has all the info on the back. Fucking awesome. And this is actually, like, wrapped inside of a fucking, like, um, shrink wrap. 
so it's wrapped but then underneath or over that wrap is a is a plastic shrink wrap but it still has the label and everything so this one says it's another beef tallow by the way and it says a decadent blend of ripe dark cherries with a dash of cinnamon baked in rich buttery pie crust topped with a scoop of vanilla ice cream and sprinkled with lightly toasted almonds that smells delicious can't really smell it through that shrink wrap but we will be giving it a go sometime soon and then of course we got the thank you card with some information on the top for you fucking degenerates and then let's just let me just read this handwritten note before we okay so it says thanks again Derek for all your support it's greatly appreciated and then Knowing her customers. Cheers. Cheers, Linda. And then we got a smaller sample. This one looks like it was scooped out. I actually asked for this one. I don't think she had it, so it looks like she scooped it out. Equinox. In the bear tallow base. So, going above and beyond... This one was a pre-made sample. This one was not pre-made. She scooped it out. Linda's fucking awesome. <laughs> That's that. There goes the neighborhood. <laughs> okay. This turned out to be a little bit longer than I wanted it to be, but shit, I was having a good time. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and uh, thank you for all the support, and I'll catch you on the next one. I can't wait to get into some of these items. Cheers, guys. I hope you had a good Monday.